teammate? Uh, no, no, no. You know, I'm, I'm stepping out on the field, looking to get my all every play. You know, you know, uh, D. Rod, you know, he used to be on our team. Me and him, pretty good friends. But once we get in between those lines, it's, it's time for me to uh, do what I do best. Chris, how much did you guys get challenged by Arkansas? I know that front was so dominant. Was there a lot going on downfield that we weren't paying attention to because the quarterback was getting chased? Yeah, it was a, it was a challenge. Uh, a lot of the receivers were uh, running, running pretty good routes and things like that. But, uh, you know, we, we prepared a lot for the kind of uh, offense that they run. You know, they got a great offensive coordinator, uh, very mobile quarterback with a uh, big deep threat arm, you know, um, pretty good receiver, 16s, uh, pretty good. Uh, we knew we was going to have to kill him and move on be able to win the game, win the game and things like that. So it took a lot of preparation and things like that. There's definitely a lot more going on in the back end than y'all probably saw just because of the uh, front end doing their job. But you know, uh, it's all it's a bunch of moving pieces back there, and uh, everything got to be perfect uh, for us to be able to execute. Chris, I'm not sure how much you've dived into Auburn film yet, but what have you seen from D. Rob this year that that you know may be different than what he was in the past? Uh, uh, D. Rob, you know, I mean, he's always been a great player, a great receiver, been a guy that can uh, take uh, take the short ball and. Um, Take it, take it a far away, catch deep balls and things like that. Very good receiver, very mobile. And uh, that's something we're going to have to key on during this week. Um, we know he's a, a great receiver just based off him being on our team and things like that. So we know him pretty well. And we know we're going to have to key on him to be able to win this game. How hard is it to, to cover back there when you have like, a guy that can scramble like next to us in terms of, you know, take the play might be over and it's not? Yeah, uh, Nick's makes a, a bunch of amazing plays back there. Uh, he just got that hit factor about him. He's able to get away from all the D-line and then make plays down the field. You know, it's, it's pretty hard, you know, um, but I, I figure that if it's just with us this week, we're going to be able to plaster down the field. You know, when that quarterback gets to run it, we can't focus on him. we got to focus on those receivers because, you know, while he's scrambling, he's looking down the field looking for receivers to throw the ball to. And we got to be there to cover him because we come off, he'll make you pay. Can you, can you contrast this Auburn game for you versus where you were a year ago? Going into this game, what you what where, how much were you playing? What units were you on? And, and just how far do you think you've come in? Uh, yeah, I, I pretty uh, it's pretty kind of the same kind of week for me because uh, like I said uh, last week, last year going into Harvard, there was an injury into our secondary, and I was pretty much getting first team reps um, that whole week and things like that. So I was very very well prepared. You know, uh, a lot a lot more special team than I am now, but I am still on special team now. And I'm still honing in on that um, that aspect of my game and things like that. But you know. Uh, like I said, I got a lot more experience coming to this game and a lot more confidence just having many more games under my belt than I did during last year this time, and I hope it can help me out. Chris, maybe no expert in front of us, you've been for a while every game, but for an offensive preparing to play you guys right now, and I really want to try to back shut out. So you said that there's extra motivation in front of you, but it didn't mean your arm was up. Oh, sure that you guys can be. Well, well yeah, you know, um, every team we play, we, we figure that we're going uh, to get their best, and uh, they're going to get our best. Day in and day out, so you know um, it's, it's extra motivation for them, extra motivation for us. And you know, um, every game during the season is a playoff game. If we both want to win this game very badly, and we know that's a rivalry that's important to our fan base and us and our coaches. And we want to go out there and get a W. Okay, so what about uh, the way you guys, as far as the discipline goes, as far as the way you guys are playing defense, is kind of keeping confidence that you can be successful with them defending the big. Yeah. Um, uh, well, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get in today. We're gonna. Uh, uh, prepare our game plan for the week on, uh, you know, Bo Nix and our Auburn offense. You know, they got a lot of great players, as we know from playing them last year, and uh, not any different than any other team we're going to play this year. So, you know, we're going to get uh, going today, hone in on the game plan, get it started, and continue to build throughout the week. You know, I know our coach is going to put us in a good position. All the players are locked in and they're ready to go. Like I said, we're going to go to the doctor today on last week and fix everything that uh, we messed up on last week. You know, did you watch the game here at the Auburn Hill? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I caught a good amount of it, and that's what I'm saying. I've seen a lot of those great plays that Bo Nix made, and, you know, that's the thing that probably we want to get into today. Question for you. Coach Baseball, different sport, but when we're, when we're playing a team with Beanie, you almost kind of go, hey, what do you need to work on to get better? Don't just be happy with winning and not get better. You guys go to that. You got a sizable lead. What do you work on yeah. the rest of the game to get better for it? That's pretty much our whole memo. That, that's that's like all we go through. I mean, even during the game, you know, our coaches, we didn't have we didn't have any uh, turnovers this game. So uh, all the way up to the very end, we kept talking to the defensive player, coaches, uh, put it in our hand that hey, we need to we need to get a turnover today. We we're trying our best to be elite at every game on every game. And, you know, we weren't able to do that. And, you know, that's just um, how the game went. But you know, we always focus on improvement. You know, that's just like our whole mantra. You know, and that's how we're able to do the things that we do. Chris, it was Auburn last year that, that 
uh, Richard got tossed for ejecting or uh, ejected for targeting, right? Yeah. How much do you think that experience, plus you know what you gained late in the season with him out, uh, you know, has kind of helped you, you know, jumpstart into this year? Yeah, I mean, it was very, very important, you know, and I never realized the importance of getting experience in games. So I was actually into one, and you know, going throughout those five games that I got last year really, really helped me for this season. I, I appreciate it for it. Yeah, yeah, and like I said, I see, I see things, I see that every day. So you know, that's uh, definitely what's expected of them when they went out and executed like they should. Chris, what's Stan Jackson like in the year, and what's he like? Dan is a, like one of the most humble guys I ever met, and you know he goes out there and he works hard every day. You know he, he doesn't take a day off, and that's something that I really respect about Dan. Um, he hones in on his craft, on, on and off the field. He's a very great guy, amazing person. And we became great friends very quick. You know he's gelled very well with us. How much more prepared would you say you were? I guess going back to that whole contrast of a year ago, mm -hmm. right? Physically, now versus then, and also just from. Uh, an experience standpoint now versus then? Yeah, like I said, I think the most important thing was uh, my experience. Of course, um, you know, you're going to get better physically every year, but that experience was the most important thing for me. You know, I didn't I didn't really have that last year in the Army game, so that's really going to come in clutch for me this year. Um, you know, my, my communication skills are a lot better this year, and that's going to help us out a lot. I guess physically, I, I, I want to get back. I, I think you answered it in the spring, but how much weight did you put on? You just look a lot bigger in the upper body. It seems yeah, like. yeah. I put on, I put on about ten pounds. I'm fluctuating around there right now. And, you know, um, our strength staff does a good job of keeping that weight on us and keeping us strong during the season. So uh, it helps us help us stay physical in games and be able to make plays on the defense end of the ball. Chris, how's it playing with uh, Hayden Walker up, coming up at uh, Dan Jackson College? Yeah. Well, Payne is, you know, he's also one of those very humble, humble guys. He gives me a lot of trouble you know, on pump return in practice, you know. I'm trying to hone in on the, um, on the dog position and things like that. And Payne's uh, give me a great look. For, um, for, so during the game, I'm well prepared. Chris, just following up on Dan Jackson, I know you Curry said he went from 12 to 6 on the 10th part. That's also just well said. Yeah. How have you seen him, I guess, seize that opportunity, you know, for like where we're trying to work his way in the rotation? Yeah, like I said, man, you know, Dan's a very humble guy. He's a very, very hard worker, and uh, everything that he's done to be able to put himself in this position, I'm very, very proud of him. He's, he's only going to continue to go up, you know, and he's a great player, and he's going to be a great player for this university for a long time. What is your favorite in your Dan Jackson story? I need to think of I need to think of one. I mean, it's plenty of stories, but, you know, just all the great plays that he makes in practice that you guys don't see. You know, obviously, y'all were able to see him get a, um, a block punt in the game today, but, you know, um, I seen Dan, and I'm right behind him in on um, punt block return. I seen him do that 50 times throughout the week, you know, work that thing. And, and you know, it's great to see him uh, his work pay off, you know, and it's going to continue to pay off because, you know, he's so humble. He's a hard worker guy. Just talking about that punt block, sort of take me through the, I guess, the X's and O's of that play. How did that work? And was it, I guess, specifically drawn up, you know, for Dan to be the guy that, you know, with? Yeah, well, it was specifically drawn up for our position. And, you know, um, it's just a, it's just a, a certain way that, uh, our uh, special team coordinator drew it up. Um, they felt like the blitz could work throughout the week. And, you know, we have been working this since Monday, and um, it came through in the clutch. It worked pretty well. And, you know, I seen those guys do that constantly. Like I said, I seen it happen about probably 50 times before we were able to do it. And to see them go out there and execute it was just, it was amazing. And then once I figured out it was Dan, like, I just went even more crazy. I was going to say, so it was specifically designed for Dan to be the guy that broke it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, um, you know, he comes second, second level of blitz and things like that. You know, it was specifically designed for him to make the play, and he did. Did you come up on Bigsby at all last year? And, and what makes him different as a running back? I know you play a lot of great backs every week, but the tank looks like a guy that could be special, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, uh, he's a very special player. I know he put uh, my high school out, Hakeville Charter, the year after I left out of the playoffs basically by himself. You know, um, he, did, he's a, he does a very good job running the ball and things like that. I think I had a, a probably one tackle on him last year and things like that, but I didn't really get to see him too much. But I get, like, like I said, we all know he's a great player. He can run the ball very good, very special player. And he's another one of those guys that we're going to have to hone in on if we want to win this game. Chris, I feel like every Monday we've kind of heard this theme of going to the doctor. You know, where, where did that come from? Who kind of came up with that idea? Yeah, well, I hear it most. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure who it specifically came from, but I hear it most from Coach Lanny. You know, every Monday, like I said, you say, what are we going to do? Everybody say, 
you know, we're going to go to the doctor. And it's all about fixing the things, like I said, that y'all don't see. You know, y'all see the guts, uh, the guts and the glory on Saturday and things like that. But it's many, many things that we mess up on. And, you know, we're focusing on proving it. And that's the only way that we continue to stay good. And, and, and I'm, I'm going to go where we're going to go if we want to go throughout the season. Yeah. Chris, uh, Curry was talking downstairs about the defense maybe not having a superstar. Maybe the definition of superstar is kind of uh, depends on who's saying it. Yeah. Is there something to this defense and strength being that there's not like one, two, three guys that you're depending on every game and that guy's not on the it's spread out? Yeah, uh, well, you know, like I said, like everybody, everybody is committed to doing their job. You know, one of the things for this week uh, during Arkansas was a role committee. And, you know, uh, like the way our defenses work, everybody has to be has to be in the right place at the right time for us to be able to make plays. And like I said, uh, we might not have a specific superstar, but you know, we got a great a bunch of great players that are willing to do their job at maximum level, and you know, it's, it's going to pay off. It's a lot of guys that sacrifice for certain games for other guys to make plays, and you know, it's all about that selflessness, you know, and that's and that's the part of the nation that we built throughout the whole season and preseason. It doesn't seem like I mean, you know, it's not like you're expecting. It's not like there's a Chase Young. For Yeah, 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 and I think that's just a testament to all the work that we put in throughout the season. And, you know, and those four pillars that we created during the offseason, you know, it's part of our connection and things like that. And we took a long time building that. It's paying off for us. Okay, that's all the time we have for us for today. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Appreciate it. Who's your shirt? Oh, man, I, I think I got these off of um, paint. I think I got these off gold, matter of fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just got these off gold. I mean, I